Hi, this is James from Mission, and you've just been listening to the Kemper Profiling Amp with the Mission EP1 KP Expression Pedal controlling the Wah. And in this video, we're going to show you how to connect up the Expression Pedal to the Profiling Amp and how to program a couple of the settings uh, for a default Wah sound. Alright, so this is the EP1 KP Expression Pedal. See, it's in a nice matching green color and we have two uh, outputs on the pedal here and they're marked out one and out two on the base plate underneath. Now there are two expression pedal inputs um, on the back of the Kemper and they are programmable depending on exactly what it is that you have plugged in and we're going to show you how to set that up here in just a minute but first let's get things connected up. Output one on the expression pedal is the pedal right here and that's this connector right here, output one, and we use a TRS stereo cable to make that connection. It's important that we always use a TRS connection uh, for connecting the expression pedal movement. So that goes in there, and then we have the other end plugged into pedal one input on the back of the camper. Output two is the toe switch, which is this little guy here, and this is the one that we can use where we can press down on the pedal and that will operate the switch. And this one we're using a mono cable. So this is a TS mono cable. This goes into output 2 and we have that plugged into pedal 2 on the back of the camper. So now let's show you how to set that up on the camper itself. Alright, so in this setting I've taken one of the default camper programs, nothing fancy, um, and we've set up a wah in the stomps. So this first one here you can see from this little orange light here that we have um, an effect enabled in the signal chain and it's a wah. We'll show you how to set that up in a second. Uh, the orange light means it's available and then you can turn that on and off on the camper itself just by using this button and then you can see that um, hopefully you can see that on the camera there it goes dark when it's switched on and then it goes light when it's switched off. Now the way you set that up is we just hold in Stomp A and then you can see there here are our settings and we can turn the browse knob over here and when we turn this knob it brings up a bunch of different settings that Stomp A can be um, and there's some different wires in there. We have the uh, CAE wire emulation selected. So you can choose different ones here, figure out which one you like best and we'll stick with that for now and then we're going to click exit and uh, and that gets us out of the uh, of the wire setting and then exit again and that gets us back to our default. Now we have to set up the pedals so that they can control this particular wire effect that we have in the stomps. So to do that we're going to press the system button and that's going to bring us into our pedal settings here and we can see up here in the display there's a 1 and a 2 and those coincide with uh, the pedal inputs 1 and 2 on the back and then we have these soft buttons here that are going to allow us to control what they're set to. Now this one here is the soft, uh, the soft knob here for pedal 1 you can see when we turn this, this is going to change these settings for what it is that we have plugged in to pedal 1 on the back of the camper. So right now it's turned off and then if I turn it to the right, the different settings come up. We can set it to expression pedal type 1, pedal type 2, switch stereo, and there's different switch stereo, switch mono, and then different things that they connect to. So switch mono tap, switch mono tuner, switch mono stomp A. But if you remember, we had an expression pedal plugged in to number 1, so that's what we're going to set it to. Now you have two options here, Type 1 and Type 2. So let's see if we can tell you what those are. Type 1 is what I had set before. And you see as I move the pedal, it moves in a kind of linear response. If you look at these LEDs around the outside of the knob there, as I move the pedal up and down, the lights are moving in proportion to how I move the pedal. Now if I switch that to Type 2, now when I move the pedal up and down, it moves super fast at the beginning and then slowly at the end. That's a sort of reverse log that's um, 
similar to an ICAR taper, which is used in some of the vintage wire pedals. And you can choose that really if you like the feel of it more. There's really not a right or a wrong setting for this. You just choose whichever one you like best. Personally, I like the more linear approach, so I'm going to twist pedal one here till we go back to type one. Now similar thing for pedal 2, if you remember in the pedal 2 input we've got the switch connected, that's the toe switch in that EP1KP expression pedal, and uh, that's a mono switch, and as we said just has a TS connection in. So you can see here I've got this set to switch mono, and then it's set to stomp A, and the reason for that is stomp A is our wire effect. Now you can change it to different things depending on what it is you want it to control. If you've got something, if you prefer the pedal to be controlling stomp B, then you can do that. Stomp C, you can make it turn different effects uh, on like delay and reverb. You can set it to be, uh, turn your tuner on and off if you want. All sorts of different things you can do. Um, but right now we're going to leave it at stomp A because that's going to turn our wire on and off. All right, once we're done with that, we're going to hit exit. And now we can see I'm going to pick this pedal up here and then we can see when we press down on this switch it actually turns the wire on and the wire off wire on wire off because it's turning the stomp A block on and off and that's where we have our wire set alright one other thing we might want to do is change some of the settings uh, on the wire itself so I'm just going to um, hold this switch in here uh, this is my stomp A switch which I just held in and you can see the light flashing on here now. And then here we've got some soft uh, knobs where we can change different characteristics of the waveform of the wire. I can adjust this one to change the peak range. I can adjust this one for the pedal range and a couple of other different settings that we have here. These you just want to play around with them. The peak range you can uh, decide you know whether you want it to go from you know a really low frequency whether you want it to go to a really high frequency and adjusting these you can control the the range of the waveform on the wire and then this allows you to control the pedal range and so this is a little bit about how the pedal responds and whether you want to have a more restricted uh, pedal range like you would get in a in a typical wire pedal instead of an expression pedal a couple of other different settings you can just adjust there to make it feel exactly how you want it to um, but that's pretty much it. So now we're going to hit exit right there and that takes us back to our normal setting. Then if we want to keep these settings uh, we can save these settings into this preset and then they will always be brought up uh, whenever we turn this preset on. Alright, the last thing I want to cover is um, if we don't want to use the switch, one thing you may, uh, you may want to do is use uh, two pedals and have, for instance, one control the wire um, and one control uh, the volume. Now in that environment what I do is I wouldn't use the switch here because I only have two inputs on the back of the camper. So I'm going to take this one out and not use this. So now this is just going to be my wire and I'll have to turn my wire effect on and off some other way um, either through MIDI control or through the panel right here. Um, but now that means that I can take this cable out and now I've freed up pedal 2. I can now plug a second EP1KP into that and then going through these settings here um, I can change that so that that gets assigned uh, to volume control instead so now I have a wire pedal and a volume pedal connected into the Kemper. Alright that's it that's how to connect up the Mission EP1 KP expression pedal into the Kemper profiling app. Hope you enjoyed it have fun.